derivations using a grammar in context free grammars that how it would be you are going to learn today we use productions to generate strings in the language described by the grammar two ways for such string inference first one is recursive inference which is which is going to follow bottom up approach see bottom up means from body to head see starting from known strings here starting from known strings means often from terminals in productions see any if you consider any regular expression a terminals means uh, uh, as i said in the previous class terminals means operators like uh, plus uh, star uh, these are all terminals you should remember this non terminals means inputs a b like uh, anything you used in the expression that we consider as ter uh, non terminals okay in the second uh, second way is derivation which is top down normally it follows uh, from head to body in concept uh, you will see uh, in the example so you can see recursive inference of the strings the string is a star of a plus b 0 0 see uh, using productions you need to get uh, means you need to derive this string how it is going to be derived uh, this string you will see here see first of all you need to get uh, a star of a plus b 0 0 that how you will get means initially you will consider a here and uh, when you are uh, deriving this string from the productions the productions are in this uh, in this one see these are all productions these two are the productions here so in place of uh, e you can substitute i and in place of e you can substitute e plus e in place of e you can substitute e star e in place of e you can substitute of e and here the same uh, uh, it it follows uh, same order uh, how we discussed here i tends to a uh, means uh, in place of i you can substitute a in place of i you can substitute b in place of i you can substitute ia likewise all you can substitute uh, the similar order see using these uh, productions you are going to derive this string a star of a plus b 0 0 in recursive inference see initially you will consider the string a here so in order to get this string a you will take the help of language i okay in the language i i tends to a here the production you are using here i tends to a see you you need a b string here so the, this b string in order to get you will follow the production i tends to b in order to get b0 you will follow i tends to i0 in order to get b00 you will follow i tends to i0 see these productions how i am taking means the production 5 production 6 production 9 production 1 1 production 2 production 4 production 3 how i am taking means you can look at in the definition see these are all productions okay these production 1 to 10 is there so from these productions i am taking here this example see see you just look at the a production 9 here i tends to i0 see in this also there is a production 9 i tends to i0 so using this production i am getting b00 string here see after getting all these strings you need to convert into a star of a plus b00 see these productions 4 and 3 if you substitute here you will get uh, if you substitute four production you will get a plus b 0 0 now if you substitute third production then you will get a star of a plus b 0 0 okay you just uh, do the work uh, do do some work uh, on this slide you will understand that how we are getting just to compare with the, the previous slide the definition of uh, contact free grammar and this one you will get you will easily understand this let us see some uh, some other examples you will uh, easily understand if you go through that uh, examples see let us see notations of derivations here see if uh, alpha a beta is a string of terminals and variables and if a tends to gamma is a production then we write alpha a beta gives rise to alpha gamma beta to denote a derivation 
for zero and more derivations we use the notation alpha a beta gives rise to star g is a grammar alpha gamma beta one thing you you should understand here in the previous example a tends to gamma means uh, in place of a you can substitute gamma here see here we are substituting gamma here in place of a we are substituting gamma here so we are using that grammar so you are using this grammar so the so that we are substituting here so the double g under the double arrow may be omitted if which grammar is being used is understood let us see one example derivation of the string a star of a plus b 0 0 this string how can we deriva, derive using the those productions the productions already we have seen in this uh, slide the productions are like this these are the productions so for e production these all productions are there for i these all substitutions are there so that these two are comes under productions e, uh, e gives to e star e e gives to e star e see initially in place of e you can substitute i here there is a uh, one production here you can in place of e you can uh, substitute i here and in place of e you can substitute see the leftmost one we are uh, initially we are uh, uh, deriving from leftmost ones i in place of e i you will get after that uh, in the place of e you are writing e here after that in place of i you can write a here that how you will get uh, you just look at in this slide see in place of e you can write uh, in place of e you have written e star a and in place of i you can write a b i a like that so these uh, uh, substitutions you need to uh, follow then you will get the uh, de desired string this string you will get so likewise if you follow all of those uh, productions you will get uh, finally a star of a plus b 0 0 the required string so this is uh, you need so this string you will get uh, if you follow those productions Thank you.